Hi, I'm Scott Stein, and I don't know, I wouldn't want to buy this laptop. I'm sorry, I'm going to start with that. This is the Lenovo IdeaPad Z400 Touch. No offense to Lenovo, but this thing looks like it came out of a time machine. There's nothing technically bad about the specs here. you got a Core i5 processor, this has 6 gigs of RAM, 1 terabyte hard drive, which is nice. It is a touch screen, so you've got a little 14-inch uh, touch display here, but that's the only thing here that feels modern. This is a big, thick laptop. This is called a thin and light laptop on some of the product listings. This is over an inch thick, and it weighs over five pounds. It does have a DVD drive for those who want one. But this thing's heavy. Uh, it's heavy for a regular laptop. You, when you want, you have Ultrabooks out there that are 700 bucks, and you have ones that have touch screens, really good ones that are 800. The price of this, sometimes in some listings, is 730-ish. Uh, the starting price on Lenovo's website for one with a Core i3 is 599. If you can get one at a really good value, maybe, but there's nothing in this package. A lower resolution 1366 by 768 display in this model. Uh, the keyboard's good, but you're talking about a very generic type of laptop that doesn't have super powered processing. It doesn't have any extra graphics capability. And you know, you have an Acer M5 that is thinner than this, very competitively priced, and has graphics options. And also you have the Toshiba Satellite U845T, which is a really nicely priced and thin and portable laptop. This Lenovo just feels lost in the middle. Wait a few months and see what comes out over the summer and towards the fall. I think this one is going to be forgotten sooner than later. I'm Scott Stein, and this is a look at the Lenovo IdeaPad Z400 Touch.